Today we're going to be telling you how to do a quick refinish on a hardwood floor. After living in a house for a while, you're, you might notice that your floor gets a little dull. We're going to show you a quick and easy and inexpensive way to repurpose those floors. The list of items you need for to do this task is a floor buffer and you'll need a sanding screen and I'll give you another quick and easy way that you may be able to do it without having to use the floor buffer. You need an applicator with a lamb's wool head. We use a janitorial supply, it's a like a velcro head, but you can also just use a simple swifter with the velcro and use a microfiber rag. And of course your polyurethane, the finish you like, we're using a satin on this one, and a short brush. That short brush is, is a lot easier to, uh, to store for the next time you wanna use or if you have a missed spot. We also like to have a set of rubber gloves around now let's go back to this floor buffer. If you really want to DIY it, you can simply just get a drywall with a sand and screen and do it by hand. Uh, we use a 100 grit sand and screen and that's really what I recommend for this task. When prepping for this task, make sure all the registers are up and that you've broom swept the floor. So let's begin. When you start, have your sand and screen on the bottom and you want to go with the grain of the wood and pretty swift, almost like you're dancing with the buffer. Once you get everything sanded down, and of course the reason why we're doing this sanding is to get any kind of maybe oils or grimes and kind of open up the pores so it'll accept the paint. After you've done a good job of vacuuming, you do the window sills and then your baseboard and then pay particular attention to in your corners. Then with the microfiber rag on the end, we just go over the floor and mop the floor, getting all, catching all that dust. Now that the floor is all nice and clean, we start cutting in around the room. And I suggest only to do maybe half of the room with cutting in and then go back laying your polyurethane. Once you've cut in, then just do a little line away from the wall, away from where you cut in, a little line of polyurethane. Then you're going to grab your applicator, your lens wool applicator. Once you have that small line down, and, and this could be a more advanced method for some, some people. They may want to use just the brush and brush it on. Uh, but once you put it on, you always pull polyurethane. Poly, polyurethane is not like paint. You don't want to brush back and forth you want to pull it to you and that way you won't get any bubbles in the finish. Okay, once you get to the end, this is how easy cleanup can be. You just take that lamb's wool applicator off, chunk it down in the container, in the paint. And that the, the reason why we use that short brush is that brush goes right down in there too. Make sure it's into the polyurethane. Seal your can up, and then when we're the next day, if you have a few spots that you need to clean up, you just that's another reason why you want to have gloves on hand, is so you can fish that. So the next day, if you have a few extra spots that you need to hit, you can just pull that out, and again, that's where the rubber gloves kind of come in handy, so you don't get poly all over your hands.